Let's talk now about safety. Clearly, going down a river should be an activity performed with complete safety. Therefore, every kayaker should know and apply the elementary norms of safety. Obviously, in this video, the question of safety cannot be addressed exhaustively as it is a vast subject. But we will talk about the basics of safe river kayaking. The Eskimo roll is the first maneuver of self-rescue. If the Eskimo roll is not performed after flipping, it will be necessary to swim. In rapids, it is important to maintain the position of safety with the feet at hip height pointing downstream, arms around the knees to hold the position and the head high for visibility. If swimming is necessary, we recommend the backstroke with shoulders oriented in the desired direction. When we strike an obstacle, the feet are used to absorb shock and fend off. We can only start to use our feet on the bottom of the river when the water velocity diminishes or when we arrive in a pool. To enter an eddy, it is useful to swim propeller style, using one arm as in the backstroke and the other as in freestyle. Self-rescue freestyle swimming with a head up can only be used at the end of the rapids or in deep water. The first form of rescue is the rescue of the endangered person with the kayak. After capsizing, the immersed kayaker grasps with one hand the handle of his kayak and with the other the handle of the rescuer's kayak. The rescuer can then paddle to tow him or her to the bank. After the rescue, keeping the blade slightly out of phase will facilitate paddling. A widely used rescue technique is throwing the bag rope. The bag is grasped firmly with a whole hand palm upwards. The other hand holds the line with some meters dangling freely. The throwing position is with hips and shoulders facing the direction of the throw. The feet are slightly apart with the foot opposite to the throwing hand a little in front. Rocking movements should precede the throw. Before throwing, 
the intention of the endangered person must be attained. The throw is performed aiming the bag beyond the endangered person. The endangered swimmer takes the line and holds it in front of the chest with the line passing over the shoulder opposite to the side from which the throw arrived. After taking the line, the endangered person waits for the rescuer to swing him or her to the bank. The safety position must be maintained with the arms keeping the torso back and the feet pointed forward. To facilitate the rescue, the line may be half wound around the hands. After the rescue, the line is put back into the bag by simply letting it slide inside. To communicate on the river, the following signals are indispensable. Ahead. Stop. Right. Left. Far right. Far left. Point with the bow to the right. Point with the bow to the left. Eddy in right. Eddy in left. Paddle hard ahead. Emergency. Unrunnable. Okay, message received. Scouting. Take the throw bag. Come here. Boof. Branches, trunk, stopper, rock, undercut. An absolute rule of kayaking is to get out in order to evaluate from the bank a passage that is not visible from within the kayak. Scouting from the kayak may be performed facing the rapids at their beginning or passing from eddy to eddy, called eddy hopping. Debarking and moving along the bank to analyze the rapids from all angles, from the sides and from above, where possible, in order to choose the best line of descent. While scouting, it is important to note points of reference that permit orientation in the rapids. While descending, we track from one reference point to the next. <laughs>